Hi everyone, we're going to take a quick look at the weather pattern so far, winter 2019-20, as it started off to be very wet. We'll look at some of the major events and how much precipitation we've had so far and compared to normal. This is Alex Tardy, meteorologist at the National Weather Service. We'll also provide an outlook for the rest of January 2020. Potential weather pattern change for California. Here's a look so far how we've done. Southern California in the desert southwest stands out where most areas have received two times as much precipitation compared to average. So basically, southwest California has received as much, if not a little bit more, than even northern California in terms of precipitation. The Pacific Northwest has been the driest area, at least compared to its normal precipitation. Here's a zoomed up look at waterweather.gov website where you can see especially the Orange County, San Diego County, and Western Riverside and parts of San Bernardino are still sitting at one and a half to two times as much precipitation as compared to average for this date. It tapers off rapidly as you go towards the north in California. Here's a look at specific numbers that may be located near you, our official climate sites. You can see at San Diego, measured at our airport, precipitation is nearly twice as much compared to average for this time of year. We've started off really wet. That's also been the case in other areas such as our mountains and snowfall has been significant such as Big Bear where they are in the top five compared to other years of snowfall for this date. Of course we still got a lot of the winter left to go. Our wettest months are typically January and February on average. Across the core region of Northern California where water supply, at least a lot of it comes from, they have started off below average for precipitation in the mountains. While snowpack is still good, precipitation overall is only about 60% at average to date. Other years for comparison are shown on this map, including the very wet, record wet 2016-17 year. What's been causing our a little bit of unusual weather with drier than usual conditions across the Pacific Northwest and wetter, and in some cases much wetter than average across Southern California? Well, it's the storm track, the jet stream, that controls everything. Upper level blocking high pressure system in the Northern Pacific, which has been around since spring of 2019, has been forcing storms to go well up north and then dive down across Southern California. Now, because at times in late November and late December, we were right in that blue line, the storms took a direct hit and we had the most precipitation of anyone across Southern California. A little bit of tropical moisture has been shown in too, coming up from the south, but overall the weather pattern has been like this and it's actually expected to continue. And this has been our weather pattern since about November 1st, 2019. Blocking the main storm track and allowing storms, however, to come down directly from the north, which does produce cold storms and at times wet if you are in that direct path. If that blue line were to shift 500 miles north or east, we would have received much less precipitation. In fact, we probably would be below normal. Let's take a look at the ocean conditions. Can we give any credit or blame to the ENSO or El Nino region along the Equatorial Pacific Ocean. Well, not really. Conditions are near neutral where we have a mix of above average and below average ocean temperatures at the surface. We do see some significant warming in the western portion along the equator, however. Now, over the northern Pacific, you can see there's a large area of above average sea surface temperatures, and that's been persistent over the lasts several months, almost a year, and that's right underneath that upper level high pressure that we mentioned before. That is really the result of storms going mostly north of that region and then cutting down into the western United States. Do we see a change in the long range prediction? Well, for the rest of January, we are currently in an extended dry period overall with mostly dry conditions with storms going by to our north. It looks like the pattern will start to change in the middle of the month and we should expect 
to see wetter conditions, especially in central and northern California, possibly reaching all the way down here into southern California. Though it doesn't look like we'll get in a direct path like we were in late December and late November, where the storms took a V-line directly into Southern California. This also means colder air because the air is coming from Canada, Western Canada and Alaska, as the jet stream is amplified and drawing that air to the south. So we expect to see much below average temperatures setting up for the middle and latter half of January across really most of the West and most of California. All right, here are the highlights of what we've seen so far and what we discussed. There have been 10 Santa Ana wind events in the fall and early winter. The strongest one was the middle of December where we saw some wind damage and wind gusts over 80 miles per hour. These wind events have resulted in overall warmer than average temperatures along the coast. We've basically had six precipitation events. Two of the biggest were Thanksgiving Day and then the day after Christmas. Those were major events with big snow impact and flooding. We had three weak atmospheric rivers and precipitation has been much above average in San Diego County and tapering as you go north. Dominant upper level high pressure over the Pacific has been what's causing this cold storm track to descend all the way into Southern California. The Northern Pacific Ocean remains very warm, much above average, but we do not see any development of El Nino or La Nina along the equator. We've seen a little bit of merging of tropical moisture, but overall the Northern stream has been the most active and this is expected to target Central and Northern California in January, 2020. We do see a return to wet active cool weather with storms cutting across California. And then for Southern California, it looks like we will get at least brushed by these storms after the middle of the month. Stay tuned at weather.gov San Diego for the latest updates. That's where we'll post watches, warnings, and advisories. You can follow us also with latest information on Twitter and Facebook. Thanks for watching.